Hi, this is Rochelle, and today we're going to be talking about uh, doing a Facebook uh, cover. I want you to go to this place, canva.com. Now, I've already joined, but it's very easy to join. It's totally free, and you can create your design there. Now, I'm just going to give you a, a, a simple demonstration for a Facebook cover. However, you can do other social media as well. Like, for instance, you can do Instagram, you can do Pinterest, you can do um, a Facebook post, you can do Twitter. But for now, I am doing the Facebook cover. So this is just a, a little um, presentation to show you what different things do, okay? This is actually the ones that you can use. They're free. It says free right there, then it's free. And you can just pick out something that you want to use and go from there. For me, I am going to use blank for now. I'm going to go into the elements. I'm going to show you. For your photos, you can choose a photo here that you like to use. Or, you see these are all free. And you can search in here. Say you want to look at a house photo. Show, it shows you a number of different houses and different places and anything that says free here you can use okay now I want to show you the other elements that are in here the grids what these grids mean is that whatever you pick is what's going to show up for instance you have the three long slides right here. You have the one slide and the, the two on the side. It's up to you on what grid that you use and whatever you do use, this is what the pictures will fit into. Your frames. Um, these are different frames that you can use as well. As you can see, a lot of them are free. Most of them are free. Your shapes. Different shapes that you can use. Uh, say I wanted to use the um, triangle. I would just click that. The triangle would go there and I would do what I wanted with this triangle here. Okay. Next is your lines. Uh, say you wanted to use this line here, you could put this in, uh, you can manipulate this line, you could make it bigger if you wanted not bigger, longer if you wanted, because it is a line. It doesn't move. It only moves vertical. Pardon me, horizontal. It only moves horizontal. Illustrations. Let's say you wanted to uh, use an, an illustration that's here. Um, all of these are free illustrations that you can use, you know, depending on what you want. You know, say you wanted to use this one, it would go there. You could make it smaller, bigger, any way that you want.
sorry about that. Um, and then the icons, different icons that you can use. And I did want to take this illustration out of here, sorry. There we go. Um, so you wanted to use a light bulb. You can make it, of course, bigger, smaller, any way that you want it. Or if you wanted to use the person, of course, you wouldn't use them together. You can separate them. You can make it bigger, smaller, any way that you want it. So this gives you a little bit of an explanation as to what these are for. These are charts. So you wanted to uh, use a chart. Say so I wanted to use this chart. or another chart, whatever chart, you can also, of course, make it bigger. Or actually, you could go vertical or horizontal with that. And there we go. And and also this here is just some things that you can use that you like promoting Canva because you really like it and it is a very good place and um, I would use it so those are your elements okay but what I want to do is I want to continue on just with the blank page I want to add a heading I'll put my sorry move my my heading uh, these are things that can happen when you're doing a heading, uh, the best thing to do is to just, sorry, I'm going to add my heading and it's interactive views. And I'm going to show you, see how that's like that. But what I want to do is I want to move this. I'm going to move this um, and I'm going to fix it. And the reason that I didn't stop the video, the reason that I wanted to do this so that you could see that you don't have to start over just because of something that happens, that you can, you can move things around. Okay, and then I want to add a subheading. Um, this is just, you just click on that, and it's going to say, for me, it's going to say presents. And uh, as soon as this comes up as sort of like the moving one, it's, it says presents, and that's my subheading. Um, I'm going to put in a little body of text, and that's going to say, the um, edit, I can edit it through here and I'm going to say just um, DIY, oh, sorry, uh, DIY Word Press, DIY Word Press um, Tutorials. Um, I could also, this is actually through an app that I use, which I might show you a little more after that. This is a different, a different app that I use. So I'm going to actually just do it here without using that. As you can see, I'm not a professional at this. This is just something that I came across that, that I use and I find it uh, very easy to use. It's very easy to learn. Um, for anybody who doesn't really want to take a lot of time at doing uh, covers for Facebook or covers for Twitter or um, 
any type of posts or using graphics, then this is a very good tool. Now, I'm also going to look at the backgrounds and I'm going to show you that um, I can put any background that I want in here. I could use this background or I could use that background, you know, depending on which background I want, I would like to use. But the background that I like right now is, is actually, I like the black background and then that comes up as white and um, I'm happy with that. And then in here is your uploads. Now, I've already uploaded this picture. Basically, you just click your uploads. It's going to take you to your pictures, your, and you're going to upload a picture of yourself or a picture of anything that you want. Uh, that's a different picture, but I wanted to use this picture. And I'm just going to put this in here. I'm going to edit it a little bit. And this is going to going to move this over, as you can see, and then move this over so that it's a little better. And then I'm going to edit this picture. Now, as you can see, that's the picture uh, that I downloaded, and. Um, Pretty much, and that's all that um, you really need to know. The rest, you can just find out for yourself, but it's a very good program. Um, it's absolutely free, and you can pretty much do anything that you want. Now, I am going to download this to show you that a download, what a download does. You can... It downloads your design. It actually goes to your your computer, so you could save it. You could also post it. Well, you could post it on um, Twitter. You can't post it on Facebook anymore, but you can post it on face on Twitter. And I've already authorized my Twitter, but you click on this Twitter right here and it will say authorized. It'll say authorized Twitter, but right now it's just connecting to Twitter for me. And I don't uh, really want it to do that because I've already done that. And I've already sent this because I've already made one. So I just wanted to show you that this is how easy that you can you can do your uh, Facebook um, cover. There's so many other things that are involved in Canva here um, that make it so easy for you to do any graphics. So please look at everything here and um, don't forget to subscribe and like it's important that I know that you, that you like what I'm doing and it's helpful to you thank you bye now